Hi, I'm Claire, and I'm on Team Tarnas. The pandemic is affecting people of all ages. Those that are older are having less social interaction and also increases in neurological disorders like dementia and memory loss. Students are finding it harder to focus and do their homework and learn with increased stresses and screen time. For both of these demographics, there's less social interaction, there's less physical activity, and there's just less chances for them to increase their focus. Students are forced to rely on unhealthy medications and older people are forced to rely at home and spend more time on their mobile devices. So what do these two groups have in common? They both suffer from things like poor sleep quality, low quantity of sleep, and increasing stress, which all lead down the line to many severe mental health conditions such as dementia, insomnia, or even worse. And due to the COVID-19 pandemic, as my partner Claire mentioned earlier, things are only going to get worse from here. What's more, did you know that in the United States alone, around 50 million people suffer from some sort of mental health condition? And that's a small number compared to worldwide, where about one in six people are expected to have some kind of mental health condition. That's approximately, that's over one billion people, in fact. And experts project and warn that this number is only going to increase with mental health conditions becoming more frequent and more severe. Part of this is due to the COVID-19 pandemic, which has stretched on for over a year. Many people are, basically everyone worldwide is feeling the effects of the pandemic in their lives. Current solutions are ineffective, invasive, and expensive. Anxiety treatments work only 50% of the time as they are mostly trial and error based. Some solutions are proven to be effective, however, they are invasive. Neuropace and DBS are effective, however, they require surgery and lead to long-term negative side effects. Our closest competitors, Ergotech and OpenBCI, cost upwards of $500 and $600 respectively. This creates a barrier for underserved communities comprising of mostly Black, Indigenous, and people of color. Clearly, there is a need for innovation. Now, I'd like to introduce TARDIS. TARDIS stands for Transcranial Applicable Repeating Deep Interchanging Stimulation, and it includes two parts of EEG and TDCS electrodes. It's based on the science that our brain emits brain waves during certain areas of activity, such as increased focus or increased sleep. These brain waves are different and have different wavelengths and frequency, and we're able to take advantage of that difference to analyze and modulate a user's brain. So our solution has two parts. There's a detection and there's a modulation. Using EEG electrodes, we detect changes in the brain waves and send it wirelessly to a user's phone through an app. To see the app, they notice that they wanted to focus, but the app is knowing that they're not. They can choose to modulate. What the modulation does is it uses a TDCS to gently modulate the user's brain waves so it's closer to the user's goal. If you're trying to focus, you'll have more alpha and slash beta brain waves, and so it'll try to modulate towards that frequency. This can mean a long-term positive change in lifestyle, even without the TARDIS cap on. Our solution also has three steps. There's the data collection, there's a the processing and notification. This is where the data from the cap gets sent to our app. And then entrainment, which is when a modulatory effect happens. Entrainment is obviously 100% optional. If the user wishes to just be notified, then they could do that as well. And this is a prototype of our TARDIS model. So now let's take a look at our CAD diagram. If you look at the CAD, you see that we have a lot of electrodes held around the head laterally with the middle holder in the middle. Additionally, we have TDCS caps at the two sides of the brain to enhance our simulatory effects because TDCS requires two nodes to interact. And this is the design of our cap. We want to make it very ergonomic and flexible for people of all head sizes and also customizable so people can interchange with their own hats and also interchange with their own electrodes. So this means easy removal, attachment, and also if anything, if they want to take off their cap, it is very easy for them to do so. And we have our prototype right here. First, we have a TMS sensor actually record your brain waves and send it over to the Arduino. The Arduino parses this data into something we can actually use. Then it sends it over to the phone where you can view it on a web application live or a mobile application. From there, we use AI to actually um, parse what state of mind you're in. For example, it can tell whether you're happy or depressed or multiple states of mind. This has a, we've already trained an AI model on this and it has an over 92% accuracy in determining whether it was someone in, was in a happy state of mind or a depressed state of mind. And this is very good for preliminary results. Then it sends it over back to the Arduino, which can, to a TDCS emitter, which can induce a certain state of mind. For example, it could excite your brain into becoming either a little bit more. And this is clinically proven to work and it has been proven in clinical trials, which is amazing. And here we have our prototype, which actually works, and the Arduino is here, and the TMS emitter. Now that we have seen the technical details, let's take a look at the finances. 
The global behavioral health software market is $2.1 billion and has a compound annual growth rate of 11.1%. The global brain health supplements market is $7.1 billion. The global sleep AIDS market is $67.37 billion. However, these markets have a problem. These markets rely on renewing medications and unreliable trial and error. On top of that, only a small percentage of people that suffer from neurological disorders and mental health issues are getting the proper treatment. This is due to both stigmatization and inaccessibility. Demographically, we plan to target two main age groups. First, we plan to target elderly people, those that are most likely to suffer from neurological disorders, such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Second, we plan to target the youth, such as teenagers, who are most likely to suffer from mental health issues, such as anxiety and depression. We plan to have a two-step, two-phase market adoption plan. In phase one, we plan to consult with local biotech experts, we do testing on healthy adult volunteers, and we work to perfect the product and collect data. We also want to want to find the best components that we can use, and also what sorts of technological components that we should use. We estimate the funding and investment to be around 200K, including needed technological components, patent attainment, and consultation fees. For phase two, we plan to launch product on online platforms, we begin marketing, and we test effects on atypical patients, which may require medical approval. This we have uh, estimate to need around 1 million combined for series A and B to cover costs of mass production, marketing, and technology. We plan to start a series A convertible note offering for investors who invest above 5% of our goal and provide equity. Additionally, we aim to give amounts to consultants and partnered companies who help. We will sell tartars on our own website as well as Amazon, and we will also partner with key distributors such as mental health clinics, hospital chains, spas, massage parlors, and gyms. We will target anywhere that has clientele who are focused about their mental health. Now that we have met the product, let's take a look at the team behind it. My name is Charles, and I would like to introduce to you my co-founders Claire, Neil, and Andrew. We come from vastly disparate backgrounds and have met through a love of biotechnology. Our team consists of published researchers, software developers, founders of impactful organizations, as well as competitors and organizers in prestigious science competitions, robotics competitions, and hackathons. On top of that, we've received media coverage from widespread mediums, such as the Wall Street Journal and Lifetime. Thank you for coming to our pitch for TARDIS.